Games Fest coverage of E3 2012. Here's my best friend, Alex. I am your best friend. We've known each other for many a year. We've bonded, and we've had bonded. meals together, drinks. We've had meals together, you yeah. know, in my darkest hours. This guy was a shining light, a beacon of hope in video game goodness. It was a good time. I liked it. Great time. Let's look at we things. We were young. We were reckless. Let's oh, I'm still young. We're still young. We're still reckless, most yes. certainly. Hey, welcome to the Mad Cats booth. You we're inside. Even, we're inside. This Let's go inside. Come check, check out what we got. Honestly, most people never really get to see this. This is our secret lair. Our Exclusive. Secret lair. Exclusive. Hey, you want to see uh, what's latest and greatest in the world of video gaming hardware, Carlos? Why, I do. I'm glad you asked. Well, come on, go on. Come follow me. Let's push past people okay. as only we okay. can. Look how busy the Mad Cat's booth is, ladies. So busy. It is so busy. It is. So hey, come check this out. Come check this out. Okay, so uh, so we have got uh, the most state-of-the-art, red-hot, tip-top, non-stop, one-stop shop roller coaster ride of an Xbox 360 headset. You know, everybody. It's fast. It's fast. It is. It's like me. It's fast and it's great. Now you know what? Everybody in the world has got a really cool Xbox 360 headset. There are so many companies out there that have got Xbox 360 headsets. I guarantee you, Gamespot viewers, nobody has got this. This is simply put, the most advanced. Okay, you want to you want to yeah. put it on? You can put it up. This is the most state-of-the-art, feature-rich, exclusive Xbox 360 headset the world has ever seen. Because you sound better already. Oh well, thank you very much. You can't hear me. <laughs> this headset does what nobody else's headset can do. Now check this out, Carlos. This is real important. It's the world's first and only truly wireless Xbox 360 headset. Nobody has got a wireless headset apart from the Triton brand. Nobody. And by the way, I have a Triton. I love this product. Oh, well, thank you. But you do not have the warhead. Now, listen closely, guys. Okay, everybody else needs a chat cable to come from their headset to the controller. Some competitors out there, they got like a Bluetooth dongle that fits inside the controller. It's a band-aid solution. Ours is the only headset in the world to communicate directly with the Xbox console itself. It's got the same security chip that is inside the Microsoft controller. We're the only headset in the world to feature that. So it communicates directly with the console, right? So it doesn't need to go via the controller. That's Intelligent brilliant. Intelligent system. Get this. Take this off. I want to show you some really yes. cool things. We're only just scratching. We've just started, people. We've just started. Now, check this out, right? If I press the home button, okay, you're going to notice uh, the, the, it actually brings up uh, an intelligent screen here that will show you your charging icon on screen. So it will show you how much energy is left inside your battery pack. You don't get an on-screen prompt with anybody else's headset. Check this out. Look at this, Carlos. Rechargeable lithium-ion battery packs for this bad boy. Boom! Saving the Earth. Jeff, that happened. Yeah, one battery pack at a time. But get this. What happens when your power runs out of your battery pack? Look at this. This is the base station here. I can actually take off this piece, and there's a second battery pack, okay? So you can just hot swap your battery packs. It comes right on out, and you can just hot swap your battery packs. So dual power, it means that you never run out of energy. And because we're using Microsoft's own solution here, the Microsoft's own security chip, sorry. Even when your Xbox console is off, it's going to continue to charge. Okay, it's the easiest headset in the world to connect. Look at this, just two cables, people. You just got your power cable and you've got your digital optical cable. Because it's using Microsoft's own security chip, it automatically syncs with the console just like your controller. No complicated cables, no setup procedures. It just works and it uses Dolby headphone technology to give you 7.1 surround sound. That is more than 5.1, people. Ooh, baby, yes. It is. But check this out, check this out. Look at this. A microphone detaches as well, right? You can actually link several Warhead headsets up to one base station. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like yeah, that. So if your buddies come around, you can all watch a, a movie together at the same time. And you don't have to one. listen to them. You can just kind of like zone them out. Zone them out, buddy. Zone them out. Look at this. I got, I got more. I got more. I got a little EQ button here, right? And when I press my EQ button, I can go to movie mode, I can go to music mode, or I can go to game mode as well. So I got different EQ settings depending on what media I'm listening to. And... I was just going to say, it sounds like an AND's coming up. There is an AND. Look at this. There is even an external line in input, so I can plug in my iPod or external music player, and I can press my source button over here, and I can actually switch between game and external input, so I can beam my iPod music, boom, anywhere in the house using state-of-the-art 5.8 gigahertz technology. Brilliant. There's no product like the Warhead, and it is only from Mad Cat's Triton brand arriving this uh, this summer season. You're gonna do a price at the end, and it's only blah, 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 99. It's, it's, it's arriving in August. We haven't actually specified price point yet. It's gonna be under 300 bucks though, which in my mind, Carlos, makes it a bargain. It's affordable, people. Hey, you wanna see something else? Let's see something else. Okay, come over here. I'm gonna come over here. Let's Whoa, just take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Almost broke the whole place. All right, all right, take a look at 
this. Okay, so this is our brand new game from Mad Cats. What's this? Mad Cats making games? What? That doesn't make any sense. I'm confused. Dogs and cats sleeping with each other. The end of the earth. We're crossing the streams. That's right. This is our brand new game, Damage Inc. Pacific Squadron World War II. An exciting action-based flight combat game set over the Pacific Theater. It starts on the day of infamy on the attack of Pearl Harbor. Uh, guys, this isn't a flight sim. This isn't a history lesson. This is an exciting air combat game with a really strong multiplayer core. You've got four player drop in, drop out co op in the game. You've got a robust multiplayer in here, a team based multiplayer called Scratch One Flat Top, which pits four players against four players, where the object of the game is to protect your own aircraft carrier. You've got over 30 historically accurate aircraft to fly here, including enemy aircraft, 23 missions, each with at least six primary objectives on board. Really robust campaign, fantastic graphics. I'm guessing your own controller. And our own controller. Look yeah. at this bad boy. This is our aviator stick. Now, the aviator stick ships alongside the game. You get the game and the stick for under $100. PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. Damage Inc. Pacific Squadron launches August 28th. You guys have got to check this game out for yourselves at the Mad Cat stand or at damageincthegame.com. Sounds great, and we're gonna actually like leave here with one of these, right? I think that was the rumor. Oh, that was the rumor. I heard you that. You gotta leave with one of those. You know, I want to. I want to show people how awesome it is. So. Well, I want you to show people as well. <laughs> so we will hook you guys up with damaging Pacific. Brilliant. Squadron. You guys can pre-order now. You got lots of pre-order incentives if you pre-order. Check out the game for yourself and pre-order information at damageinkthegame.com. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Alex, for showing us a couple awesome things. Carlos There's Chicago. actually a lot more here. We can't even get to all of it. Loads more here. Well, but... we're going to do some more videos throughout the rest of E3. And, uh, we're <laughs> You're just like, well, we're going to do many, vid many videos a week. A yes. A cornucopia of videos. A cornucopia of videos. Yeah. That's well, going to do it for here. Well, there you go. Thank, Thank you, you very much, much, Alex. Back to the stage. Pleased to be here.